How are you going to yeah. say, uh, in, Jesse March just got fired. You could theoretically yeah. say he was at that level. Uh, David Wagner just got a job at Norwich. Uh, Matarazzo could be back at the helm, right? Mm -hmm. But none of these guys right now you're going to put up at the helm. Piojo Herrera doesn't have a team. Um, Turco Mohamed, et cetera, et cetera. What about your boy John Herdman? He was linked to Leeds. Maybe he's gonna, maybe he's gonna replace jo Jesse John, Marsh. John Herdman, okay, mm -hmm. but his last performance at the World Cup left a lot to be desired. Okay. So I don't know. You could say it's. You could. Well, say you can't give me another one if you can't give me somebody better. Well, no. Let me tell you what. I, let me let me give you something though. What I will say is, you could say it's Javier Aguirre by default, but I'll tell you where he runs away with it. He's by far the best coach in Concacaf history. There's, there's no two ways about it. You look Totality at Totality of resume. Just, just to forget the resume for a second, in, which is very difficult because you've coached multiple national teams, okay? Multiple national teams, multiple countries. You've coached some of the biggest teams in the world, like Atletico Madrid. You've been in some of the biggest places in the world. You've had some of the biggest platforms in the world. But look how long he's been relevant. Relevant. People know who Javier Aguirre is in La Liga. This man has survived coaching in... in in a game that's evolved so many different ways over the years. When you think about CONCACAF players and how little respect they've gotten, it's a handful of players you could say have played at just an elite level. Hugo Sanchez, Rafa Marquez, Chicharito Hernandez, you know, uh, uh, a Casey Keller, Tim Howard, whoever you want, even a, even a Dwight York, those type of players, okay? There are handfuls of players. But when we talk about coaches, when we talk about coaches, international managers, he's in a different table. He eats apart. There aren't many coaches who are on that level. Resume, style, longevity, everything you want, he's been there. So when I was doing this exercise of who's the best today, mm -hmm. I found myself thinking it doesn't really matter because it'll be another flavor of the week come next yeah. week or yeah. flavor of the month. But there's only one Javier Aguirre. It's easy to, after you beat Real Madrid, get caught up in the moment. But to your point, there's, there's not a lot of options here, right? It, it is a little bit of an honor by default. But even if we lose kind of our, our bias, our prisoner of the moment bias, we can look at his, the entirety of career and see a guy who's had success, not just at various stops, but at the different levels, at club and at international level. This is a guy who got Mexico out of the group phase in two World Cups. And he's gotten both Osasuna and Atletico Madrid qualified to the Champions League at times when those clubs and their aspirations were markedly different, certainly Atletico Madrid, than they are today. So I think this is a guy who, if you look right now, you say, wow, what he's doing with Mallorca, 10th in the table, a team that a couple years ago was in the second division. Pretty impressive. You can also look at the entirety of his resume and say, there's really nobody else in this region that comes close. It should count double having to work for Stu Holden, so... I'll give it to you. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, true, true. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.